but it's a shared story. Uh, it's a story of shared determination, one that has seen a young Ghanaian become a neurosurgeon at a top university in the United States of America. Dr. Kwejostapon left Ghana when he won the U.S. Visa Lottery. He wanted to study business, but fate had him work as a cleaner at a hospital. Twelve years on, he's a neurosurgeon. Joseph Akable shares his story. You know, I had my eyes shut on, okay, I want to go to medical school, I'm a very good, I'm a go-getter and stuff. But to get to this point in terms of, you know, marching into neurosurgery, neurosurgery specifically, no, I, I didn't think it was possible. Dr. Sapon's answer to my question about whether he saw himself becoming a resident neurosurgeon at the prestigious Vanderbilt University Medical Center in the United States of America. It has been a long journey. Not that he's a man of little faith, for it takes faith to move, switch courses and pursue dreams that only God can tell how it will end. A journey that took off when Kojo won the U.S. visa lottery. He left his studies at the University of Ghana into a land of hope. Science seemed far off. Business the more likely option for his young mind. Uh, I just decided to do business because I felt in case I struggled in anything, you know, they'll be able to help me out and stuff. So I ended up choosing to do business and went to Kumasi High School. For business. Um, so did business for what three years finished and then got admission into the University of Ghana. Um, so at the University of Ghana I ended up doing uh, psychology and political science for one year and then won the visa lottery. And, and I think that changed the whole course of my educational journey. Winning the visa lottery um, and coming to the United States alone. So Felix, everyone still stayed in Ghana. Um, I'm the only person who came to the States. So when I came here, that is when the whole everything changed. So Kojo recalls this definitive milestone in his life with the unavoidable reality that at the time his work as a housekeeper took off. His colleagues at the University of Ghana were following through with a degree program he had left. I'm the only person here. I came to live with my uncle. You're we supposed to you know, help out in the house in some kind of capacity. So I decided to work. And see, um, that, that was very difficult for me because I worked for, you know, about a year um, at, like, doing, like, um, sort of cashier at Walmart. Um, and then got a job in 2011 as housekeeping in a hospital. So, so January 2011 is when I started the job as a housekeeper in a hospital. And, you know, when I started the job as housekeeping in a hospital, that is the point, and again, Mind you, 2011, no, not make my mates no more legal, no, So while I was working housekeeping, now, my mates are still in, you know, I'm still keeping in touch with them. Um, and that is when I got exposed to the hospital. So my job in the, um, in the hospital was, you're yeah, discharging, yeah, yeah, if a patient is discharged, you go clean the place, you clean the bathrooms, clean the restroom. He was just 21 when he met a surgeon who changed his life for good. Dr. Robert Fritz, a general thoracic surgeon at Gwinnett Medical Center. I was transferred from the housekeeping into the operating room housekeeping. Meaning, say, say case this year, like let's say the, the, an operating case ends and then there's blood and stuff, and you are the one who goes into, you know, clean the room to turn the room over so that another case will come in. So whilst I was doing that, I was also still working on the floor and cleaning bathrooms and all this stuff. So in the OR, in the operating room, is when I met a surgeon. Um, he thought I was just too young to be doing this. Um, again, mind you, I was 21 at the time. So he was like, oh, you're too young to be doing this, and what do you want to be in the future? So I saw his badge. Not a badge, and I saw general and thoracic surgery. So he's a card, like, you know, heart surgery, like general thoracic surgery. So, you know, he asked me, what do you want to be in the future? And I was like, I want to be a thoracic surgeon. I was like, oh, wow. Okay, how do you like it if, you know, I let you work with me you know, you shadow me and follow me around and learn from me. Kojo, after community college, entered Emory University in Atlanta, where he studied Bachelor of Science, majoring in Neuroscience and Behavioral Biology. From there, he continued at Georgetown Experimental Medical Studies in Washington, D.C., where he obtained a medical certificate. Then to Georgetown University School of Medicine for a Doctor of Medicine qualification. He has since completed and will in the next seven years be working to perfect his neurosurgery practice at Vanderbilt. It has been a journey of Kojo relying on scholarships, financial aid from various individuals and student loans. Another person Kojo remains indebted to is Dr. Aja Indum, an associate professor in the Department of Neurosurgery at Emory University. Dr. Indum recently made the news when he was appointed to introduce the U.S. president at a cancer program. 
Kojo has picked many awards, including the Clinton Global Initiative Award recognition in 2017. He also won the Emory University 40 Under 40 recognition and a Presidential Lifetime Achievement Award for volunteerism. In 2014, he received a strange invitation from the White House. This was because of the work he had done with the African Research Academies for Women, a non-profit organization he had set up with his friend Shedrach Osei Frimpon to nurture the interest of aspiring female scientists in Africa by providing hands-on experience in research laboratories. All the female undergraduate or college students in Ghana, all across Ghana, apply into the program. And then they go through a selection um, team here. So there's, we have a team here that will, faculty members who go through the application and then we'll interview some of the applicants and then we'll offer acceptances to about 10 to 15 of them. And then when they get acceptances around June 1st, they are placed in a lab at Noguchi. Um, we also have partnership with the West African Center for Selba based upon their personal interest. And then we provide them houses. So we work with the international student hostel at Legon and also another hostel in KNUSD. Mm-hmm.